Make haste to Dwarfstone, Sir Alan. Hand deliver this to Prince Damon yourself. At once, Your Grace. Dwarfstone. I'm sending word to Damon. Aid is sailing to the Stepstones. Did he make call for help? He would sooner die. But his king does not mean to allow that. Do you not think my decision correct? It has no consequence to what I think, as I'm often reminded. Damon is thorn enough in my flesh. Will you insist on taking after him? Must everything be a battle? If you refer to attempt to marry me off to Casterly Rock. I am sorry, Rhaenyra. I was trying to help you. Will you not be helped? Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted, as if to the death? Because you mean to replace me with Alicent Hightower's son, the boy you always wanted. You have him in hand now. You have no further use for me. You might as well peddle me for what you can, a mountain stronghold or a fleet of ships. You have misjudged me, Rhaenyra. Oh, know it. Jason Lannister knows it. You said it yourself. The lords of the realm gather like vultures to a carcass, hoping to feast on my bones. It is true that as rulers we must marry for advantage, to forge alliances and bolster our strength. You have always understood this. I myself was promised to your mother when I was ten... Ten and seven years of age. The Vale had an army to rival the North. I've heard that story since I've had ears too. I loved her. She made a man of me. I do not seek to replace you, child. You've been much alone these last few years. Alone and angry. I will not live forever. I wish to see you contented. Happy, even. You think a man will do it? A family? I had a family. What would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. That is true enough. You must marry. Strengthen your own claim. Shore up your succession. Multiply. As to your match, make it yourself. Search him out. Find one that pleases you, as I did. Renira. I did waver, at one time, but I swear to you now, on your mother's memory, you will not be supplanted. <laughs>